fillet of this went through there centuries ago. Never hold that anymore. Goodness gracious. Uh, if you, you, you have, you have your, your soulmate. You say, soulmate, I found attraction for this party over here. I want to tell you what I found an attraction for her. I want to be with her. What did the soulmate say? Have fun. Put it on. I'll be glad when you get back. That was the light. Mm. And anything I want. He didn't care. Go on, go on. Uh, and then the funny part, the woman who has the lamp, the man doesn't want her to leave her at all because he got a treasure. The next thing you know, he says, well, you know, Susie was pretty good, but she doesn't hold a candle to you, darling. Mm. Anyway, that's another story. We're not, we're not going to that one. We, no, no. You know we'll be in bad trouble on this planet with that one. <laughs> so we were talking about, again, the beginning inductions with, with uh, these yeah, people. Yeah, the one I always use is this. I, I say, and now according, according to psychologists, hypnosis is based upon suggestion, and suggestion and definition has been described as a subconscious realization of an idea. In other words, it's something you think about inside your mind that manifests itself in a physical form in your body. Now, I can give you a simple example of this, a very easy one. Uh, and then went for the test with the, with, the little, uh, with the yellow lemon, which is a very... Now, uh, I usually present it like this. Here's a very simple example of how suggestion works. I have here a lemon. What does it suggest to you? It suggests something sour and something bitter. And now I'm going to take a knife, I'm going to cut across the lemon, make a hole in it, and let this juice trickle down to the floor. Look at it. And now, to emphasize the suggestion, I'm going to suck it. And as I suck it, feel it yourself. Feel the saliva start to flow in your mouth. Unconsciously, the idea of something sour in this lemon suggests to your inner self the recurrence of a physical phenomenon in your body. And that's the basis, ladies and gentlemen, of hypnosis. And the more you learn to control it, the more you will find that you'll be able to control everything in life that you have to deal with. Now let me give you another example of suggestion that we would all try to gather and experiment. And then I go into the, uh, the hand up and down in the audience. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you watch your people and you say, now the one that found that could uh, respond to that well after you finish it and would like to learn more about how to use this ability of suggestion for your own benefit, always bring it back for you. For your benefit, I invite you to come up on the stage. That's all. Then you got you got You've given them action, and you 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 singled out the people that are the most responsive, and you've given them a chance to be your volunteers. And the ones that didn't respond, and there are some, there will be some that will respond. They're going to say, well, well, I guess I I didn't get it very well. And I better stay where I am. But the ones that did it well, said, oh gee, that that might work great. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm going to come up, and you'll get a you'll get a select committee of of, of some people. Okay. Then you can go into your into your induction. Now, when you do your induction, um, once they come up onto your stage, what do you do with them next? What do you do? What do I do? Yeah. Well, I've changed my whole presentation now, but I used to I used to say our first experience together is not per se hypnosis, but it's what is called meditation. Meditation has become very popular, and as you know, it's an Oriental concept, and the Hindus use a crystal ball for this purpose. And I'll show you how to use meditation to bring relaxation into yourself and to reach into the inner recesses of your of your mind. So everyone now, then you be then you begin to give your direction, but your delivery direction is something for them to do. As soon as you start saying directions, you are beginning to get the hypnotic mood established. Uh, all right, everybody Sit back in your chair, put your feet on the floor, press your hands on your lap so your fingers don't touch. And uh, direct your attention toward me for a moment. And upon this crystal ball, 
which is used in India as meditation. Now in meditation, you concentrate as directed. So let yourself just sort of drift and coast and do this together. Watch the crystal ball as it goes from side to side. I used to use this for years. Watch the flickering lights inside the crystal ball. And as you do so, it's fascinating, it's beautiful. And now with the count of three, I just close your eyes and shut out this image. One, two, three, eyes closed. See the image in your mind. And now that image, transfer that image to becoming very peaceful and very quiet. And yourself dropping down, down very gently into a passive state of meditation. I'm not even talking about hypnotism yet, I'm just talking about meditation. There's no difference, it's just a different word. Dave Elman said, with the right semantics, Everybody can be hit with that. But the right semantics, that's the right use of words. Because words are, are triggers to action. They are conditioned over our whole experience of living to bring in different emotions and different feelings. And that's why when we read a novel or we see a movie or when we express, some are very powerful in expressing things that really, oh, you, feel, you find yourself crying inside because the right semantics were expressed. They can be expressed on a written word too, not just a spoken word. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's that's the way I usually start with the crystal ball. And then, then I gradually go from that. And now that you are peaceful and relaxed, uh, and I also find it useful, I'm right here with you. And so I go down and put my hand on their shoulder. I'm right here with you to help you go deeper and deeper inside yourself and just press on their shoulder. They know that, they, that you are a very gentle, loving soul. Now you never say deeply hypnotized or deep asleep. You never say those words when you do your shows, huh? I never really hear that. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I, I, <laughs> the, the mind's going to go down where it's going to go anyway. Uh, and you avoid it. It says, you're going to go deeper and deeper. Now you're going to go deeper and deeper. Oh, come on. What you're going to do, you're going to, you're going to go back into the abyss of yourself. You're going to go back to yourself. And you're gaining control over your body by controlling your mind. 